the most down bad cartoon characters. As most of you may know, there was a lot of simping going on in the cartoons. In literally every single cartoon that I watched growing up, there was a simp, like without fail. So we're gonna talk about the most down bad cartoon characters in today's video. Take a trip down memory lane. I figured we'd start off with none other than Eugene Krabs himself. Now this dude is big balling, of course. Like he's rolling in dough. He really got it like that. But guess what? Guess what got in the way of the grind set? Mrs. Puff, bro. And this dude was the richest in Bikini Bottom. He was cooking up. He was unstoppable. It was just extremely painful to watch. You know, he just bent over backwards for Mrs. Puff. Now, I don't know what made Mr. Krabs do this, but I guess he wanted to take Mrs. Puff out to a fancy restaurant and he paid for all these services that probably cost him more than a band. Mr. Krabs, it's date number one. Calm down. You don't even know if you got the bag secured yet. Or maybe he can wipe his ass with a rat. Never mind, he screamed when he saw the bill. Mordecai. This dude, bro. Oh my god. Imagine sniffing a girl's hoodie and you were like, oh, it's in the laundry room. She left it here for me. Like, okay, bro. No, no. That, that, that was not the case. I promise you. She went on a date with another dude that you paid for. Mordecai. Come on, bro. What are you doing? Whenever presented with a simp in cartoons, I think a lot of us already automatically think of Mordecai. He's pretty much just like textbook of what not to do. I'm not saying I'm an alpha male or chat or anything like that. Don't pay for a date that someone else is going on with a girl that you like. That's just next level down bad. And Mordecai ain't got money like that. He ain't walking in riches. Mordecai and Rigby were bums from what I remember. So clearly they're not walking in riches like that. And we cannot forget that this man wrote an entire song about Margaret and was singing about how hot she was. I can't believe how hot she is. Makes my insides feel like not it is. <laughs> I just felt eternal pain re-listening to that song again. Holy hell. And I can't tell you how many times this man has been down bad over Margaret. Margaret. But no matter what, Rigby was always there to cheer him up, bro. Rigby a go, even though he's kind of a bum. Next up, we got Bling Bling Boy. Now, this dude was rich as hell and was doing everything in his power to try and pull one of Johnny Test's sisters. I think it was Susan. This dude really had his team develop like an entire software to be like, oh, why you can't date Susan Test? Wow, bro. I, I can't believe this man is so down bad. Bro, just move on. <laughs> oh my. I know it's just a cartoon show, but holy hell, sometimes it just began me. He that they'd be so dumb like that and even worse bro this dude would blow his racks on inventions and shit like that to try and get her to go on dates but if she doesn't even want to be there bro it's an l for you to begin with because she's never going on a second date again you just blew all that money for nothing bro you might as well just burn the money at that point or use it as goddamn tissues when you're gonna be crying in the club later but nah bro i ain't gonna let the test sister slide bro they'd be simping for that one dude i think his name was gill or something like that now next up we got tom bro now this one was just rough to watch. Now, Tom, unfortunately, was blowing racks that he didn't even have. Like, Tom really bought her a whole perfume bottle. Look at her. She's just unfazed by it all. And this dude, Tom's competition, Tom's number one op, Butch, comes in with a whole ass perfume truck. It's safe to say that, bro. No matter what Tom does, this girl is just not gonna appreciate him. And some advice for the fellas out there, bro. Find a girl that will appreciate the anything that you get for her, no matter the cost. If you know you're on the hunt for some high-maintenance girls like Tom over here, you just go get your ass played bro. If some dude has more money than you, you're fucked. And now Tom spends his last pennies on this ring in this episode, Blue Cat Blues. This dude bought her like the world's smallest diamond. Unfortunately, that's all he could afford. Butch bought her this big ass diamond and unfortunately, I think it's wraps for Tom. And you pull up in his goofy ass car like that's gonna change anything? Nah, dog, you still go get played. Butch about to pull up in a big ass limo, bro. You're done for. Your goofy ass car's going to shreds, buddy. And after that, it gets pretty dark. My boy Tom starts going through heartache. But that doesn't excuse Butch. Butch is kind of a simp too. In the episode Casanova Cat, bro, they were fighting over this girl. Same girl, I think. I don't know. And it got to the point where they ended up kissing each other. Y yeah, that's that's just tough. And in the end, Jerry took the dub. And honestly, that's how it should be. Now next up, we got Robin. This dude would do the most to get attention from Starfire. Didn't matter what it was. Like in one episode of Teen Titans Go, this dude literally became a cat to get attention from Starfire. Like, this dude would do anything, bro. He was so desperate. This man practically sold his dignity. Like, come on, bro. This dude actually became a furry. They did Robin so foul in Teen Titans Go. I mean, the show's kind of booty. I'm not gonna lie. The old Teen Titans will forever be superior, but bro, they made Robin the most down bad simp on the planet for Starfire. I cannot tell you how many times this man came up with a devious ass plan to try to get Starfire. That failed miserably. Watching this dude fail miserably, it just made me cringe. 
Revenge. And looking back on it, I'm like, damn, this show is kind of booty compared to the original. Next up, we got Candace. Now, Candace in Phineas and Ferb was simping for Jeremy. Candace was on some stalker type shit, bro. She would do the most just to see him. Like, she got a job right near where he worked. She would also just take pictures of him randomly without his permission. Slept next to a picture of him and took a picture of his face and stapled it onto a teddy bear. If that is a next level stalker, I don't know what is. But somehow, she ended up getting the dub at the end, which makes absolutely no sense. Like, I'm, I just, I'm in disbelief. If somebody did that in real life, it would not work out. And I think that goes without saying. Now, let's talk about Morty. Now, I don't really know much about Morty. I never really watched the show Rick and Morty, but a lot of other people made videos on this topic. So I was like, all right, you know what? I gotta mention him, at least. Because this man would do anything for this one girl. I don't even know what her name was, honestly. But this dude made the entire planet love him when he was trying to make this girl love him why did he do that honestly i i really don't know because of that they had to destroy that entire universe just for this girl that's crazy next up we got to talk about greg heffley now this dude is from a goofy uh animated movie now so i guess i can talk about him now greg would do the most for this one girl holly this dude was literally like her personal butler at her lifeguard job he would just sit there all day and he would like refill her water and Greg really thought he was winning. And he would even try to make lame ass jokes. Like he would point at a pregnant lady and say like why she shouldn't even be wearing a bathing suit. Like bro, you're just lame. Like why don't you just talk to her like a regular person? And this man wrote an entire poem for a girl that he didn't even know. And it was kind of questionable. Like I, I don't even think I have to read it. I could just put it up on screen and you would know. And we cannot forget this dude broke his friend Rowley's arm, right? And as soon as he saw that he was getting attention from girls, bro, like Rowley was getting all the bitches for real. He was like, um, guys, I was the one who broke his arm, actually. Bro, you're scaring the hoes, like, shut And he would try to use Rowley as his wingman or some shit, too. Like, one time he was standing in the corner, and Rowley was like, yeah, I heard this guy, Greg, has big muscles. And he was just there, like, in the fucking corner, whistling, like... I don't think I see a single muscle on your entire body, Greg. Look at you. This dude is practically skin and bones. Like, what muscles are you talking about, Greg? I mean, not only that, like, Greg was just an elf friend in general. He would just use Rowley all the time. But next up, we gotta talk about Timmy Turner, man. This dude would get bullied by his crush. Bullied! Like, how do you let that happen? And he still liked her, which made absolutely no sense. Like, bro, just move on. He had the greatest power of existence, bro. He could make the girls appear like nothing. But somehow this man was just making them disappear, which makes absolutely no sense. But this dude did the same thing as Morty. He made every girl on the planet have a crush on him. Like, obviously, that's gonna be really annoying, and it's just not gonna work in your favor, bro. Like, I don't even know why he would even try that. Next up, we gotta talk about Finn, bro. Now, Finn, yeah, this dude kept a piece of Princess Bubblegum hair like I don't really think I gotta say much around the topic in one episode he was crying in front of a picture frame of princess bubblegum and holding a lock of her hair when he realized he wasn't getting the same affection and attention back from her tough bro I mean you just gotta move on like I mean it is what it is but despite this he still tried to get her which makes absolutely no sense I don't know why he kept even trying at that point and plus I don't even know if anybody pointed this out but there was a huge age difference between them so obviously Finn is just not taking the dub that's not happening now we gotta talk about gumball and darwin can't forget darwin this man gumball made like an entire fireworks show for penny just for her to be unimpressed like that's just tough and darwin literally turned himself into a ghost just to try to be with this girl that is crazy that's just some next level simping right there bro gumball would just like stare at her deeply in the eye sometimes wouldn't even pay attention to what she's saying and he would paint a bunch of entire non-existent scenarios in his head and whenever he would get invited to her house he would be like oh my god me me really out of, out of anybody me like, just go, bro. Come on. You are fumbling the bag heavy. Like, she could easily revoke that invitation. What are you doing? I mean, a lot of these cartoon characters were teenagers going through puberty. And shit, that's just what happens sometimes. My advice to you, for anybody out there looking for the ladies, don't do all this extra shit, bro. Just be the best version of you. Do what you gotta do. Don't do all this other bullshit. It ain't gonna work. Watch some videos on the end screen. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.